Sweeney has a bachelor's degree from the Delphi University and holds a master of public administration from CW Post. Assemblyman Sweeney has been the chairman of the Environmental Conservation Committee since 2007. Some of his accomplishments include creation of the Invasive Species Task Force and a law that requires global warming labels on new automobiles. Over the last three years, Assemblyman Sweeney has become a true champion for the EPF, fighting for increases in the overall amount of the fund and specific categories important to the Adirondacks. This year, the Assemblyman was the driving force behind the additional $17 million in the Environmental Protection Fund above Governor Patterson's executive proposal. He was also instrumental in having $60 million allocated for land acquisition and fought hard for increases in other categories, including invasive species funding. Assemblyman Sweeney also played a large part in the expansion of the bottle bill. Following the footsteps of his predecessor, Tom DiNapoli, Mr. Sweeney shepherded the expanded bottle bill through the assembly twice, including as part of this year's budget. The Adirondack Council's Co-Legislator of the Year, Assemblyman Bob Sweeney. Good afternoon, and uh, thanks for the invitation to, uh, to be here and say a few words. Um, we, of course, have our uh, Earth Day ceremonies here tomorrow. We're on assembly time, so we're a couple of weeks you know, <laughs> behind everyone else on Earth Day. But we're going to get there. We're going to have a very good package of bills. And uh, you heard about some of the issues we've been uh, dealing with. The EPF, of course, this year was a huge issue. And, and really, in 222 that we managed to get it to, uh, doesn't include, you may recall, the governor had put in $31 million in stewardship money for DEC and parks uh, in the EPF, which is part of what contributed to bumping down all of the other categories, the basic species and others. We took that $31 million out and bonded it. Uh, so really what we got was the 222 plus the 31 in, in stewardship money, which didn't go away. It just got funded in a different way. But that, in turn, allowed us to bring some of the categories like land acquisition and invasive species um, back up to more reasonable and, and traditional levels. Uh, that's going to continue to be a big issue. We also got a commitment, I should say, from the Division of Budget on the EPF, and this is significant uh, because, as you may know, in some years there has been a difference between what gets put in the budget and the, well, there's always a difference between what gets put in the budget and what goes out the door. And this past year in particular, it's been a little slower than we would have liked to have seen to go out the door. What wasn't written in, but which we got a commitment on from the Division of Budget, is that this year they will put the largest amount of cash behind the EPF that they have ever put behind, uh, thus ensuring that these projects are not just going to be uh, funded on paper, but will be funded in reality. So that's a little unseen portion of the budget uh, that we think was uh, very significant. Uh, the bottom bill, of course. God. <laughs> you know, and despite the best efforts of a lot of highly paid lobbyists who are out there even today trying to roll back as much of it as they can, uh, you know, it's done. It takes three to agree to a change. And we're not agreeing to a change, period. The only thing that we might consider at all is a delay in the implementation of the UPC code, which is really not the environmental end of things so much as it is the uh, fraud and over redemption end of things which is important to some people, but I think not so much for folks like, uh, like you. Uh, other than it, that, that's it. The bottle bill is, is law, and we're not looking to knock it back. We're looking to build it up. So next year, we'll probably be back to try and add those, uh, those items that didn't make it into this, uh, this year's uh, expanded bottle bill. Um, but I'm very pleased to be here. We'll have a very ambitious package tomorrow that we will be doing, which will include global legislation uh, that will include uh, e-waste recycling, uh, that will include, uh, well, we've already done sequest uh, standing, which is a very important bill by Assemblyman Bradley that the Assembly has uh, already passed. Um, all of these bills, uh, about a dozen bills, um, will be passed in the Assembly tomorrow, and we hope that they will pick up Senate support and that we can uh, uh, end this year on a high note accomplishing some of these things and many of us have been looking to do time and, and that with the change in the Senate, we hope and believe uh, can now become reality. Uh, and so that's our goal uh, in the weeks ahead to get as much
much done as we can do. And with your support, and, and believe me, the support that we have gotten uh, from organizations like this is critical. So the fact that you're here today, that you're talking about these issues uh, with other folks is very, very helpful to us in this process, uh, especially as we are really coming down to the end of the process in terms of the session. Thank <laughs> you.